Good evening, everyone. Yeah, we're back out on the beach. We didn't think we'd do it, but uh, I'm out here with Scott. So there's Scott there. We're here at uh, North Withering Sea. There's a few anglers about as well. Uh, there's a load towards Waxholm. Uh, well, I thought I'd have a cheeky cast, get set up, get a rod in. Uh, then Scott got a rod in. Then Scott got a rattle, so he, re he reeled in. He was he caught my line, brought my line in, so I brought. I started bringing my line in. Um, <laughs> he had a wait, waiting on first cast. I know I haven't got it on camera. It's on Scott's camera, so I'm not lying. Fibbing. Uh, so yeah, great start. It's not a blank, which is ace. So yeah. Anyway, yeah, so we decided to come to Wiverancey tonight. We was going to fish a river, we was going to start a bit of a, you know, the river, river campaign, as you call it, but it's a little bit too warm for me, to be fair, to fish a river. And uh, I think, Scott, well, Scott fished it the other night and didn't get much. And not many good reports. To be fair, there's not many good reports all along the coast, really. Um, although, I think last night, there was a few more small coddling and whiting coming off the beaches, so... They're there or thereabouts, aren't they? They're on the way. So yeah, uh, Friday evening, finished work, picks got up, picked some beautiful bait up from Mark Tong from Quids in Bait and Tackle. Um, some fresh lugworm, absolutely massive they are. And I got a packet of wraps as well, which is absolutely spot on. And that's what I've got, got the waiting on, the first waiting on. So yeah, let's hope we get some more. I want to show you some fish tonight. Uh, we're here till, I think high tide's half eight, I'm not sure what time it is now, it'll be about six o'clock. It's going to be a big tide, it's already at us here already. And I'm looking for someone to safe to go in about an hour. So, <laughs> we're going to be up and down, up and down I think tonight. Uh, so yeah, we're going to fish into the dark. Probably fish for about half past nine, ten o'clock, call it a night then. Uh, but this is what it's about, it's beautifully, it's, although it's overcast, it's absolutely boiling. It is boiling, so... Oh, I miss Scott's cast there, he's wanging it out with his new rod. So yeah, uh, as it happens, or if it happens, we'll get back to you. Let's see if we can get a word from Scott. I was just, I was just saying, Scott, how warm it is, isn't it? Yeah. So hey, Scott, look, hardcore fisherman. Get on, his, uh, get on his YouTube page, give him a sub, give him a like, thumbs up, share the love. Aye, uh, share the love. <laughs> share the love. Right, yes. What do you reckon, Scott? Coddy, Coddy, I'm going to put my name out there. You're putting it out there, are you? Coddy. He's putting it out there. Brilliant. Right, Scott says it, let's have it. So, yeah, out happens and uh, we'll get back to you. See you in a bit. Shane's got a nice white in. Not a bad start, Scott. That's what we said. Cast, yeah. Nice one, Shane. Nice little white in that, mate, isn't it? It is, yeah. That was on that uh, fresh lug worm, that. Yeah. <laughs> a few more bigger ones than yeah. that. Scott's reeling in. Looks heavy. Is it weed? Or is it a ray? He's twanging it like doing his guitar twangy thing. Could be a ray, could be weed, could be a big cod. Scott called it, remember? What a beautiful night. So warm. Let's hope it is a fish. I think he's fishing with a fish bait as well. Fingers crossed. Do you reckon, Scott? It looked like a lump, didn't it?
Did did it? Yeah. Put your rod. That was weak because your rod was arched over. Wasn't it all the way in. Yeah, yeah. How bizarre. Has it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, well, can't win them all. But look, weird that. I mean, his rod was bent over. There's no weed on his line. Then, obviously, in the surf, it's just gone slack. So, don't know if he's lost something in the surf there. But mine are quiet now. I've had to switch to a six ounce weight. It's pulling quite away. Oh, sorry. The back's really giving me there. Yeah, it's pulling round to the right, the tide. So, it's quite strong tonight. I don't know if I mentioned it's a big tide. I think it's about a six metre tonight. So... Yeah, I'm just looking for somewhere safe to go. I'm fancying them rocks there. Get me sent perched up there, I think. We'll see, we'll see. Anyway, let's get back to the fishing. See you in a bit. Well, I hope you can see me. So yeah, it's about quarter past seven now. I did actually get the tide times wrong. Did I flag then? Sorry. Um, yeah, I tides. At Bridlington, it's about, well, it's about half seven. So we're nearly at top of tide now. Uh, and the good news is, well, not, yeah. Well, it is, it is for Scott. I'm not had out else, barring a load of weed. But Scott's, Scott's just had a, a, a codling, about half a pound. So, well done. So they're here. They are here. So, yeah. So I've just bitted this up with uh, some lugworm, I'll show you. That's a proper cod bait, that, isn't it? So we're going to get that fired out and see how we get on. Now it's a bit unsteady on these rocks, so it might be a, the, the angle might be a bit lopsided. I do apologise. I'll try my best. I don't know if you can uh, be able to see me from there. I hope so. So as you can see, I'm still over it thumping it. That's because I'm not being able to get out on the, uh, sorry, out on the uh, field and practice off the ground, off the ground at the moment. So um, the back's getting better. Seems to have uh, turned a corner today. So it's been three weeks since the engine my back. Uh, today's been the best day I've had in three weeks. So let's uh, let's hope fingers crossed. But yeah, Scott's had a cod or a codling. I've had a whiting, a decent whiting. Let's somewhere else, uh, let's hope somewhere else likes the bird. But like I said earlier, it's a beauty night for it, absolutely fantastic. So I'll leave the camera running. It's a cracking night for it. Let's see if we can make it any better there. Yeah, 
Hopefully that's a bit better for you. I'll leave it running because we don't get a lot of fishing action, do we? It's usually me sat in front of the camera not catching anything, so... I'm just fishing the one rod at the moment, just uh, I to let this tad calm down. Reason being that if I fit, fish two rods, this right hand rod, it's just getting dragged into these groins here. So I'll leave it as it is for now, just with a one rod. nights where you, you sort of wish wish it was a really late tide no early hours in the morning you spend the night on the beach because it's that warm absolutely beautiful so I'm not going to leave it out too long um, Hooks have been coming in strips, so I dare say there's a fair few crabs on the feed. There seems to be a lot of weed about as well. Excuse me. I'm not sure if that's a bite or it's weed.
I don't think it's a bait. I think it's just weed. Do apologise for yawning, people. I've uh, been up since four this morning. Well, welcome back, folks. Uh, yeah, nothing else happened. Still getting a lot of weed, but tad, Tad's on the edge, so I've gone back to two rods now. Uh, right hand rod's got cart and mackerel wrap, and the left hand rod is uh, slack and fresh, fresh lug worm. So we'll see how we'll get one of them. So I've just put them both back in. Scott's had a couple more bites, uh, but to be fair, I've not not really seen out on man. But we've had one, so we're happy with that. Why? Well, are, are you really happy with one? <laughs> Especially on your first cast, you know. It would be nice to get a codling. Who oh, no, knows, still, still early yet. Fish for about, I don't know, another hour, hour and a half. I know there's a few matches, there's a few matches on this week. I know of one. Uh, I'll have a speak to across the river, Dave White. I think he's fishing in the Auntie match this weekend. So good luck, Dave. Hope you do well, pal. There's no you get on. And thanks for the t-shirt mate, I really appreciate it. I'll uh the next video I'll wear it. Cheers pal. Let me just sort that rod out. Well, I'm not on a. I'm just propped up against a rock. But it's half nice on my back, I'll tell you that. Oh. oh I could probably sleep here. So, yeah, I was. Been on the forums, talking to a few guys online. I'm. Been a bit slow this week. Like I said before. I've not really beach fished through summer. So, you know, I'm, I'm guessing you get that sort of transitional period from when the summer species move out and you're waiting for the cod and they're waiting to move in. I don't know. Somebody might be able to correct me. Sounds good, doesn't it? Sounds like I know what I'm on about. I'm looking forward to the winter though. You know, when you, you do the sort of three or four hour stint during the night. I'm hoping, I'm hoping to uh, get a decent cut. I've not had a decent cut off the beach. Years ago, I had, I had two or three down the umber uh, I think the biggest is about six and a half pounds don't get me wrong it's a brilliant fish 
but my biggest off the beach was only a pound and a half and like I say that was back when I was a babby at Cowden all them years ago <laughs> uh, so yeah I'm not <laughs> a prolific tree angler but there you are I'm looking forward to uh, meeting a few of the lads who, who you know have been talking to or have dropped comments. I'm Aaron, Aaron Stone, looking forward to bumping into you pal and having a go on the beach. You know there's a lot of others, to be fair, like I said before, the sort of sea angling fraternity she would say seem a lot more friendlier than other forms of fishing you know, everybody's got the secret mark see so yeah, I get that but the, the you know the information a lot of people are, will give you is amazing I found it amazing you know if I've caught anything well if I've caught anything, I tell anybody. One, I don't catch much. And two, it's on YouTube, so you know where I am anyway. <laughs> but now I openly tell people where I go. So, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll be doing a few from the Umber. Me and Scott. We're, uh, as we speak, shall I say, we're planning our winter, winter campaign. Uh, and a couple of other lads to speak to as well they've offered to help me out on the river so I'm really looking forward to that I'm really looking forward to getting home and having that steak sandwich as well good by my wife you know because she's awesome Oh, yeah. So yeah. Hello Trudy, Carl and kids. Hope you're all all, all alright over there in Aussie. Can't wait to go there again and fish. You know, I mean the time's time been on the ebb for about half an hour but every now and again you get one of them waves that come straight up the beach right up to the cliff so be careful everybody when you're on the beaches especially on the night as well always fish with somebody always let somebody always let people know where you are as well you know like I said before you don't always get a, a signal on the phone and give them the time you're going to be home and if it's anything like my time <laughs> uh, but I don't know my wife Joe puts up with me at times she adds she adds an hour and a half on husband time when I for whatever time I'm saying I'm going to be home <laughs> uh, she's a good one Seems strange as well talking about cod. While it's this warm, I mean it's what it must be. What now? Let me have a look. But it's ten past eight, and it's as warm as toast out here, and I'm in a t-shirt. Still saying it's 21 degrees, I don't believe that. Well, it might, might be. G 
So yeah, I'll get a couple more, a couple more reels in, a couple more casts. It'll wrap up about nine and a half nine. I don't want to bore you. I'll uh, see you in a bit. Hey, welcome back. Now you've not missed out. I'm getting a lot of weed. Scott's not getting as much weed as me. Sorry, my rod's just spun around. I don't know what's going on there. Just one second. Yeah, as I was saying, Scott's not getting as much weed as me, but I seem to be getting plagued with it. But the baits are coming back strict, so I'm guessing it's crabs. Yeah. Oh, the other channel I was trying to think of was Lynchy Outdoors. Uh, Lynchy and his dad. That's, a, that's another good channel. I'm going to give him a watch. Done it again. Supernatural forces are at hand. Keep spinning me rod around. something about fishing at night in the ad. I really do love it and I really enjoy it. I'd really enjoy getting a cod. I don't know about the old one's cod father, more like the old one's whiting whisperer I think. <laughs> even though I've only had one. Somerset Tony. There's another good channel. I like Tony. Good down to earth lad. The channel's really good as well. He fishes some absolutely beautiful marks. Catches some good fish as well.
Nah, it's bugging me now. I'm gonna have to turn it around again. So on this one, on this time, on the right hand rod, uh, let me think. On the right hand rod, rod ugh, can't talk. I've got lug wed and flat stuff. And on the left hand rod, I've got a cat wing and a squid head. A big chunk of weed down the line. Mm. So I just love that noise. Crashing waves is beautiful, isn't it? Off there. Nice to be out, but you know when there's some something missing. And it's not that some, it's not something, it's someone. So yeah, it's not the same. Well, it is. I mean, me and Scott would have laughed, but it's not the same as out there here with the three of us. It's always a good laugh. We're missing you, Ben. Looking forward to our next session, pal. Biggie. I don't want to add that one actually. It's good to see Tom back on the beach as well. Editor Tom. Been in for a while. I'm Graham, I ain't seen Graham for a bit. Graham, the lad we met at Tunstall, he's a smashing lad. I think I've said before, he comes to angling, he's an absolute machine. Brilliant to watch, absolutely, it's fascinating.
bits are still coming back stripped. Sorry, I apologise, I have to put my light on because uh, I'm going to spin this round. Can't see my rods. There we go. But yeah, look at that. I don't know if you can see it. How beautiful is that, that moon? Gorgeous. Yeah. So I just thought I'd show you that. Oh, and the stink. <laughs> see you in a bit. Well, I'm going to bring that in and see what the state of play is with it. Oh, I think that might be a bike. I can't believe Scott called Cod got one. Maybe that's where I'm going wrong. Maybe I should shout Cod like Scott does. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, pal.
Yeah, look at yeah. it. Yeah, so it'll collect to you. Oh yeah. Really crashing in tonight. Really crashing in. So, checking. One sec. So yeah, checking YouTube this week. I've, I've moved up to 285 subscribers. Which is absolutely fantastic. So everybody who's subscribed, really want to say thank you, honestly. Really want to say thank you so much. It means a lot. Uh, Couple of the regulars, Day State, thanks for the comments mate, uh, North East, again, thanks for the support, we love to fish, thank you very much indeed pal, uh, and the rest of you, everybody who subscribed, I really mean it, it means a lot, I, you know, I've said it before, I never thought anybody would want to watch me fish, barring my grandchildren and Aussie, just because I make them laugh at the fart noises, but you know. And it does inspire me to, to want to do more videos doing this. And keep, keep. So as long as you like it. I mean, I actually, oh, what did I say in the last video? I've not had any thumbs, thumbs down and uh, I've got three. Not on one video, on just separate videos like, but I, listen, I don't mind. I'm not bothered about that. But it would be nice if whoever did the thumbs down would just leave a little bit of feedback. You know, why have you, why have you thumbs down? What, what more could I have done to make it better? Uh, please let me know because I want it to be enjoyable for you guys to watch. You know, we all watch the YouTube videos where people go fishing and it's, it's, no, it's dead boring. Some people, are, you know, they like that in front of the camera. So yeah, let me know what you want to, you know, want me to do to make it interesting. Apart from running around the beach nude, I ain't doing that. Uh, winter's coming as well. So yeah, just let me know. But keep the comments coming. Keep the thumbs, thumbs up going, keep subscribing, subscribe to the others like you always say, you know, Hardcore, Vern, Levo, One Man, Danny, the list is endless isn't it, I'm, I'm, you know you just frighten you miss somebody, um, Landlock, Sea Fishing, Rob, all them guys, uh, what was the other young lad, the Fishing Barrel, uh, oh, there's a fair few and I, I always forget. It will come to me and I'll say it in a minute. But yeah, we all do the shout outs and it's good, you know. But as long as you want me to keep making the videos, I will do. I love it. So thanks very much, all my subscribers. I really appreciate it. Thank you.
bring you back or I'll come back to you or I'll see you in a bit if anything happens see you soon it's got I think it's got got the got the footage of well he got the footage of my waiting so I'll get that off here and I'll put that in on the start of the uh, start of the video just to prove I won't fib in it's mad that isn't it you get a fish first calf I know they call it the care for the uh, first calf fish right but then you don't get nothing, nothing else, and you what you think, you know, first cash is cast. I mean, while we're on here, there's fish about. And then they all sod off. I mean surely they can't be just that one thing. Because that is luck. Well, that's about it, folks. Uh, not much happening. We're going to call it a night. It's been a really good night, though. I really enjoyed it. Just not, you know, not, not an hectic night for a change. Sorry, I'm going to put my light on. I can't see a thing. Um, yeah, it's doing steady away. Oh, dear. There we go. We've had one apiece. So that's not too bad, is it? I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I say, stick with us. We'll get better. I'm getting better. Still enjoying it. I hope you lot are. I'll get these rods in and we'll call it a night. Here we go. Keep an eye on that rod for us.
bring number two in. again bloody crap I tried folks, I tried, we didn't fill, we want a blank, we got a white in, but it's been really, really enjoyable, so thanks for joining me, really appreciate it, continue to like, share and, and subscribe, you know, it really does go a long way, and I really do appreciate it, I feel the love, I feel the love, subscribe to everybody else, like their videos, and join me next time, because who knows where we'll be? Probably the Umber. Who knows? Thanks very much, everyone. See you all soon.